What's up guys, welcome to Bro Beats. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys some things you should be doing if you aren't already. If you guys haven't subbed already, I'll turn those on and do so, because those help it a lot. So let's hop right into it. So this is supposed to be a fix at FLP, but um, most of the stuff from these videos are pretty much the same, so that's why I don't do them as much. Um, it's pretty much like sound selection, you know, melodies and mixing, right? Um, but I wanna take this time to use this to show y'all something, right? Because a lot of y'all may be doing this. Um, now, I'm not sure if this person wants me to actually play this or not, so I'm gonna just not do it because I don't know. Um, but basically, they just want to help with melodies. They don't like their melodies, right? Um, and here's the reason, and I'm starting to notice this with a lot of people's stuff is with these, like melodies, right? They're just melodies. There's no like chord, underlying chords, okay? Now, I know a lot of people, they want to look for secrets and shortcuts. Well, the only secret or shortcut that you can take is chords, legit. If you just use chords, your beats will be better 100%, right? So with this, there are no underlying chords here, right? Right, if I, I, if I do this, it's just the same note. So you started good, right? But you gotta keep going and add in those um, chords in there, right? And you'll be straight. So you have what I like to call like the melody syndrome, right? You wanna make a melody that sounds good, um, but you have no chords under there, right? And it's just melodies, which this can work, but you need to know what you're doing. This is one of those cases where it's like, you need to know the rules before you break them type of thing, right? So what we're gonna do is just build the beat from scratch. Uh, we could do a quick one, and then I'm gonna show you how to level it all the way through everything like that, okay? Um, so, Let's just go here and I'm just grabbing a scale real quick so y'all can kind of see like what notes if you use the harmonic minor. Okay, so I've loaded up two sounds. I wanted to kind of use the same sounds he was using and I'm gonna use his drums. This is the preset. Uh, I don't know where he said on here, but that's the preset. And then here is the lead. Okay. So let's go ahead and create our first set of chords. Okay, so let's start our chords. Now, if you struggle with coming up with chords, what you can do is only do the bass line first. Now, the reason I tell people to do this all the time is because it maps out your progression for you, right? Now, if you just start with chords like this, it's always that unknown of, okay, what, what what's the next chord, right? So eliminate that with just doing the bass line. Now, if you struggle making the bass line, you could do this. You could put down a whole bunch of notes and play it and your ear will tell you where to switch, right? So my ear is hearing this note shift somewhere, maybe go up. Okay, maybe we could go down. Let's go down two notes. Okay, so I like that. So now I'm gonna just, well, we could just keep those. Let's make a chord from this. So we can copy this, pull this up an octave and build the chord from this. And then maybe we could add this note, the same F, right? Let's copy it over. Same thing here, right? You can see it's just rules I'm following. I'm not even thinking, I'm just putting these notes in, right? And if you want to change it up, we could just throw this in there, right? It's no big deal. You can start experimenting, um, let's see. Let's continue this out. Same thing here, we could do the same thing. And then you can start experimenting too. So um, let's see. as simple as that and you can see over here all we did was use the same chord okay so now i think what i want to do is show you how to kind of build a melody within this all right all right so now from here what you could do is just add a little little notes in here to kind of get, make it a little bit more unique right but this is enough right this is 100 enough you can make a beat from this you could change the sound up add some effects um, so from here, we could just pull notes that we already have. So let's just use this one actually. So let's maybe pull this one over. 
All right, you can see we got a little connection here and then maybe let's and then we could add a little flam here right and these are just things you can do you don't have to do what i'm doing it's just what i ended up doing okay let's see what this Right, and this is going to kind of give it that finish sound, right? So that it can repeat. All right, so that these simple notes, let me find them so you can see what we changed. Just adding these little notes can kind of make it sound unique. You don't always have to come up here and try to go crazy, right? You can just do something simple. So let's move on to the counter melody and then we can kind of put the 808 in. All right, so now we're going to do our counter melody. All right, so this is our sound. Now with this, what you could do is just take the first chord, right? So if you're lost, you're like, okay, I don't know what to put here. Just take your root and build the chord. And then pull these down an octave, the top two. And then you can kind of play around with the rhythm, right? And I'm maybe just do something like this. And then we can come back to this middle note. And then you could just, and let's switch the grid to one fourth. And then we can kind of fill that in. Okay, and then what I like to do from here, right? Now, if you did your chords right, this should work, but you could take this note, okay? Right? So, because this is our middle note now, right? This is our middle note. We can take our middle note and we can pull this over and start our melody from here, but use the same rhythm here, right? So, And then from here, we can kind of finish it out if you want to. I think this right here is fine, but we can kind of finish it out. Let's do like a little flame or something. Okay, and I remember we still need to like do some mixing and leveling stuff, so it's super loud right now, but let's go ahead and put that 808 in. So now let's lay down our 808. So in the beginning, we already did our 808, right? So we could just take these notes from our bass, copy that, put it over here, stretch this out a bit, and we can just kind of listen and see what sounds good. Maybe let's pull this C over so it's more consistent. So now let's chop it up, do something like this. Okay, so now I wanna add a little, little chop here. Look, we do that little reverse effect. Something like that, I don't know. That might be too much, actually. And we could just play around now. Let's copy this over. Oh no, just trying some stuff. Let's see if that sounds good. All right, that's decent. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the drums. Okay, so I might fast forward through a few of the drums just because, you know, they're just drums, right? So. I'm gonna just place these myself. Okay, again, we still got a mix. So let's go ahead and add some hi-hats in real quick. Change up the grid. Turn these down. 
Let's get a rhythm in here. Do something like this. Let's just copy it over. Okay, that's all right. So let's add this clap. No simple, simple stuff. I'm just use whatever drums he's got already. All right, I'm trying to go slow on purpose because I want everybody to see every little thing because I don't know what y'all might need to know. So I'm just trying to. Okay, and that's the beat. So now I'm going to show you how to level it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now I'm going to show you the steps you need to take in order to level your stuff correctly, right? So with the soft flipper, if you use this, you want to put this post to around Nick, well, I can't go up there, but 79%, all right, 79 to 78%. This will give you that cutoff, uh, what is it, like negative 0.3 dB. Um, it's not, doesn't have to be exact, but it's around there. Now, the threshold, if you pull it all the way to the right, it will be more closer to your original signal. Put it all the way to the left, it's gonna sound more crushed and saturated. Okay, so I like to reset this and tick it up one to negative three dB, okay? That's my personal setting that I like. So now what we're gonna do is mix this or level it. Let's put all of these down, right? And I put my kick and 808 in mono. I don't usually put my 808 in mono, um, but for just to follow the rules, I'll do it for this video. So the kick, if you want your beats to hit hard, put your kick, mix your kick as the highest sound, all right? So you wanna hit it at negative six dB. That's too high. Let's get the, see if we can see it. Pull up to it's around there, all right? Now for the 808, you wanna pretty much put it at 12. So you can go two numbers down at 12, right? And this is a good start. And keep in mind, you can always pull up the faders later if it's too low. So the clap, you don't want it too loud. You don't want it too low. All right, loud, low, put it somewhere in the middle. All right, and we can even pull it down just a little bit more. I think that's good. Hi hat, same thing. Go to extremes so you know what where not to go. So you know it's somewhere around here, right? So you can kind of play around. And I actually think that's good. Now, snaps, stuff like this, I consider like perks, so I kind of put them lower than the hi hat and clap. Okay, now the melody. Now the melody, I usually put half of where the 808 is. So let me see, the 808 is hitting at negative 12. So I will put it somewhere around here, maybe 24 to start, right? This is for your main melody. So you can even put it up a little higher. Okay, and keep in mind, we haven't even mixed it. We haven't even done any of this, right? So, and then for this, you could follow the same rule. You could put it half of your melody, right? But again, you kind of want to just pick what you want and we could pan these a little bit as well. Okay, and that's simply um, some rules you can follow to get a good mix every time. Let's pull it up. Maybe this is good. Right, again, you need tweaking. There's more tweaking that needs to be done. You need to, you know, go in and pull out some bass, maybe, you know, put some EQs. But for the most part, this is how it goes. And that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully it's helped out. Make sure you gotta like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.